Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you guys a review on these two. This one is the BTA or BT Art Box False Nail. is going to be the EC Basket Nails by Gaga. So I'm going to be comparing the two. But another thing that I want to go ahead and show you guys um, this Saturday I am which the Saturday is the day that the video is going to be up. But I am dropping new decals. So this is going to be the one that I am putting on there. I don't know if you guys could see. But they're super cute. I went ahead and applied some of them on this nail so you guys could kind of see. But they're like the the moon and the stars and stuff. Um, I only put a couple on there. I didn't seal them in. But I think they look super, super cute. Make sure to check out my shop down below. The link is always down there. Let's go ahead and get back into the review. So basically with these nails, if you guys don't know what press-on nails are, basically they're a full cover tip. I'll go ahead and show you one of them from the Bot Art, or I think that's how I call it, Bot Art. But so this is what they look like. They're just this full cover tip. These aren't like that. These are um, tips that they're gonna go ahead and cover your whole entire nail like that. You guys could kind of see it's on the top and then it, it extends your nails. Why I wanted to do this video for you guys is because when I first started doing my press on nail business, I was kind of unsure of what product that I wanted to use just because I knew I couldn't afford to use the Gel X just because the Gel X that is really, really expensive. If you guys want me to do a video on comparing all of them and what I think about them, make sure to comment down below because I'll go ahead and do so for you guys. I want to talk about price points with you guys. I do always try to find the cheapest one for you guys. So I hope that helps you guys out so you guys don't have to like be looking all over the place for them. But for the box arts, these ones are $14.97. So they're almost $15. And I love that they come with the case because it does make it easier when you guys are doing press on nails. That is like a plus for this one is just because this and the pictures on Amazon, it shows that it comes in a case. And some people, they get it in a case and some people don't. And also with this brand, this brand, they charge $9.99. So almost $10. So it's like a $5 difference almost. Because um, with even though it's $14.97, you're going to be paying tax and whatnot. I wanted to show you guys those just because I didn't know what I wanted to spend my money on. And at the time when I first started um, my press on nail business, money was tight. So I want to be able to save you guys as much money as you can instead of having to buy both and see what they are and having to like mess with them and waste your time with the product. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys them up close and personal just because I want to be able to talk to you guys about several different things. One being, of course, the price point, what I think. Also, I want to talk about packaging. I also want to talk about the strengths of the nail tip, the shape of the nail tip, what I think about it, what I recommend it. And then after just my overall review, things that pros and cons, what I liked, what I didn't like. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'm going to put these nail tips down right here. I want to ask you guys, which one do you think is which? Um, do you think this is the one that's the $14 one or do you think this one is? Um, let me know down in the comments below. So this one will be A, this one will be B. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mix them up. <laughs> but if you are going to be buying these for yourself or you guys are just going to want to um, make your own press on nail business, this is something that... I look for in my nail tips. Um, I like to make sure that they have a nice C curve and I don't know if you guys could see that but this is the curve on this one and this one it is the EC Basket Nails by Gaga and then this one is the Bots Art. This one has a really really nice C curve compared to this one. I mean the curve it is still pretty but it's not as curved as this one. You guys could see this one it kind of goes up higher. So I also want to show you guys like the strengths of the nail um, just because I know some people that they want to make sure that they're getting like the best quality strength wise. And so towards the tip of this one, it is pretty, 
you guys could kind of see that it is like going in but it's not really so much at the tip of the nail it's more like up here i feel like the plastic on this one it's thicker down at the bottom and then once you get up to the top like see how flimsy that is it's super super flimsy yeah i feel like this one on this side this side you guys could see that it got a little bit damaged from squeezing it but this side hardly any and i'm pinching it the same so um and then after the next thing is that let's do the tops of them yeah so this one is way 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 more flimsy than the top of this one and i feel like the thickness of this one this one's really thin so this will be good for like when you apply it it looks super super natural and it like kind of just like blends into there but what this one is going to be a little bit more bulkier i don't know if you guys could see that like but it comes off of your nail so you guys will be able to like it won't have that like seamless look as this one it kind of blends more into the natural nail even if you guys were to like if you guys apply these first and then paint them if you guys are like my DIYers um those you guys would love these just because they go perfectly in there you won't have to file too much to make it look natural or some people will push them into the cuticle so they don't have to like file or anything but I find that like sometimes like it'll irritate my cuticle so that's why I don't like doing that personally but this one's EC Basket Nails by Gaga, and then this one's Bots Art. So this one is the one that is more flimsy. This I have to like push pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these for you guys, so then you guys could kind of see what the nails actually look like structure-wise. Um, just because strength, I do feel like the EC Basket. This one is. The strength on this one is a lot better than the box art one. The box art is very flimsy. But when it comes to blending into your nail, I feel like this one is pretty good. Okay, so you guys, I ended up putting um, the names up here. I am going to be putting points for each thing that I feel like is good. So I guess at the end, I could see um, compare them and see what I like. So... I do like the C curve better on bots art, so they get one. I like the how strong these are, so that gets one. I like that this one, the it blends into the cuticle really nicely. So this gets one. Packaging, I feel like this one gets one because it comes in the box and it's not guaranteed for EC Basket. Let me know if your guys came in the box for EC Basket. Um, just because mine, they never did. Anytime I ordered, I'd ordered multiple times and anytime that I bought them, never ever came in there. Let's talk about sizing. Just because I want to tell you guys are the sizings the same just because i know some people they're kind of afraid if you guys had already started your press on nail business or if you guys maybe have bigger nails if you guys are diying it so i want to talk about size so this one it is a size two and it goes from sidewall to sidewall but you have to press it down um if you just hold it over that is it's gonna look like as if it's not your size but once you press it down um it is my size and then this one let's see this one same thing if you guys just hold it over it's not going to be on there but once you press it down it's pretty good on there so i feel like the sizing it is pretty comparable um so just in case you have a press on nail business and you guys already have sizing kits and you're worried about that so if your clients already know their sizes on this um lucky for you that these sizes are pretty much the same and they're both a size two so they i'm not going to give a point for that just because it's something that they both have and i like that they both have all right you guys so i went ahead and painted the nail this is what they're looking like um i went ahead and just filed the tip one more time just so it could give that straight look so you could see what they look like so another thing that i wanted to show you guys was how it would look with these nail tabs because i know people some people they only do nail tabs 
So I wanted, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys also application with these. With Bots Art, they do have more of a curve. I do feel like this, it looks more like an acrylic nail. Um, this, I feel like since it is so straight, it kind of just sits on top of the nail and it just looks unnatural. Like look at the difference. Like this one, it actually has the apex in which EC Basket, it does not. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the nail tab on there. And then after I also wanted to stick this down and show you guys what the tip looks like. Sorry, I did a poor job on painting, but I do just want to be able to show you guys how it looks. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you the next one so you guys could see. This one, because it doesn't have that much of a curve up at the top, it does kind of have like a harder time to be, um, it has a harder time, like if you put a sticky tab on it, I feel like you guys should maybe size up a little bit in the nail just because it shows the sidewall just a tad bit, but this is what they look like let me go ahead and do a side by side so you guys could see um i want you guys to be able to compare them yourselves and see basically what's going to work for you guys okay you guys so this is what they look like from above honestly i love how this one it is tapered so i'm going to do for the apex the the strength are the the profile that's what i like on this one and then how it looks above, I love how tapered this one is. So from up above, like this one, it is more tapered than this one. So this one gets a point for being more tapered because, you know, when you get coffin, you want it to be like super coffin. But that's what it looks like, you guys. Super, super pretty. But the apex on them, it is so different. Like, um, so yeah, I... I wanted to show you guys this so you guys could be able to see and what you guys like. Do you guys prefer the way it looks like just straight on or do you guys care for the apex? I care for the apex. I feel like that is something that it just makes it look more like an acrylic nail. So if you guys are going for more of the acrylic nail, I do feel like I really like this one. And strength wise, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to bend it at the tip but honestly they do not bend um either one towards the tips of them there let me know what you guys think down below so the applications of them they are different so i'll go over that in just a second okay so the next thing that i wanted to talk about was application i'm gonna go ahead and take these off so i could show you guys what i mean um just because with the color tips you guys aren't really able to see it but with application, these actually go like you, you're able to get these as flat to the nail as possible. So adhering them, it would be really, really good, which this one, since it has that apex, you guys might need to use like a builder gel to get it in there. But I mean, you guys could get it in there, but it's like you really have to press down, especially if you guys are using the glue with the sticky tab, it raises it a little bit up. So you don't have to push the nail all the way. So it looks like just perfectly straight. But if you guys were to have to push it down, it would almost angle downward. Like, I don't know if you guys could see that, but it angles a little bit more down, which that's not a super big deal because I've worn them and I've I've glued them down and I've used sticky tab also and I feel like that hasn't been a big deal but how close it gets to adhering I do like that but I mean you can't have both because the apex and whatnot unless they did like the apex but then after they built the tip higher then I feel like that would you would be able to have both so in adhering I feel like this one would do a lot better of a job than the bots art so but i do feel like they came in very close you guys i love how clear they are um they don't have yellowing in them i don't notice any yellow i'm gonna go ahead and move it out of the light yeah both of them they don't 
they are not yellow um so that is super nice just because you don't want that yellow tint especially underneath your nails if you guys are doing white you don't want to see like a yellow tint underneath your nails just because in my head i feel like it's almost like i feel dirty um and so yeah all right you guys these came in super super close so i want to go ahead and kind of do an overview i do feel like with me i want to be completely honest with you guys i i started out with ec basket but once i had found bots art or bt art box i'm probably pronouncing it wrong but this was one that i fell in love with i love that it looks like an actual acrylic nail especially on the thumbs like i feel like i love that apex that was something that had automatically sold me on this um And so I want to go ahead and go over some of the other stuff. I went ahead and wrote the stuff down um, of what I was thinking on there and basically what I thought. So EC Basket, the strength of them, that's something that I really liked about them. But I haven't had a problem with having these ones just because I do do a builder gel across the whole nail. But I haven't had an issue with the nail whatsoever. And... Um, so that's why this one, like it was, I, I really don't mind it. Cause even with just the gel on it, it's really not that big of a difference. Um, so if you guys are just doing this for yourself, you guys don't even really need the, the builder gel, but I personally love to put the builder gel on there just because it does help give that extra strength. And for clients and stuff who buy off of my shop, um, I feel like they like feeling that extra strength in the nail and feeling that they're not going to break. So it's kind of just more of reassurance for them. But so the strength and that was this one. And then the tapered. I love how skinny they went to the top. I love, love, love that. And then the application, being able to make sure that is perfectly up against your nail. I love that for when you have to glue them down. That's why I love the application for these nails. Um, but if for, but for bot art, so the seamless blend, I love by the, by the cuticle, the blend is so amazing. Like I just love the way it looks and especially look with having to apply more gels on the nail. It only gets bulkier. So these, I do feel like, I mean, it's not super, super bulky where it's like crazy looking, but I just love the seamless blend. And then the C-curve, the C-curve is great, you guys. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then the packaging. I love that it comes in this box like this. Why don't you guys put it in a box? It would make it so much easier. Um, I mean, you guys could always buy a box to put your nail tips in but i don't want to have to like buy it and then repackage product that i have already bought um especially when you're just so busy already um and i know it would take a second you guys might say but still but having to go in there and unzip it and lock it back up like rather than just like having to like open it up pick a nail tip out know where the size is at not have to shuffle through this whole bag and trying to dig in there and like where's the size two where's the size five you know um and then having to sh go in here and then after like messing with the opening it and then after pulling it out pulling out too many and you know it's just not a fun time so that was a big one for me i love that bots art bt art i don't know <laughs> how you guys want me to say it i say bots art but um their their packaging like it Honestly, patch, packaging, it does go a long ways. In Apex, Apex, oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. In application, the sticky tabs, I do feel like it's nice because with this, you could pretty much do both. You could do the sticky tab. Sorry, my sticky tab is like worn out from pulling it on and off. But yeah, like you could do sticky tab and it looks like pretty straight and that's for sticky tabs are for someone who only wants to wear it temporarily um for like maybe one night or so but this like if you were to use a builder gel you guys could get away with like 
putting it on there and whatnot. If, um, but you guys would have to adhere it down before um, you guys paint or anything if you guys are the DIYers. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and it did help you guys. If it did help you guys, make sure to hit that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm and it helps the video get out there and help more people. So if it helped you, it will help more people um, who are looking to get into press on nails or if they just wanna do a DIY thing for themselves. Um, so if you guys like this video, make sure to check out my other videos. I do have videos on how to do press on nails, how my business is, and just all those different things. And also, if you guys like these, make sure to check out my stickers. These are amazing. If you guys don't want to have to like do actual nail art, these are a game changer for you guys just because it helps, makes it so much faster. Um, I ended up using one of these stickers and putting it on here. But um, yeah, they're a game changer and they help so much. Um, so yeah, make sure to check these out on opulencenailco.com. Um, the link is always down in the description. These tips will also be linked down below. So yeah, you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and join the family. Um, so yeah, if you guys... Or if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. It will be very much appreciated, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on future videos, make sure to comment down below. If there's anything else you guys want to know, make sure to comment down below. I don't mind helping you guys out. If you guys are my followers, you guys already know. If you guys have a question, comment down below. I will answer you guys. I will get. I usually get back to you guys pretty quick. Quick. I try my hardest to do so. Um, but yeah, so make sure to comment down below if you guys have any questions or any video recommendations on what you guys want to see. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Bye.